found interesting about Clayton's talk today was that trying to understand the customer was the wrong approach and that it was more important to try and understand the job that needed to be done. But I've got to describe how this process worked its way through a totally different industry so that you can get a sense for why and how it works. I get it. What you're telling me is there are two mini mills at the bottom of our market. They're called Cyrix and AMD, and they're going to kill us, aren't they? Because they've taken the, the rebar of processors, uh, entry-level computers, and it felt good to get out. And now they're coming up. The job to be done. I really need to focus about the job to be done as an educator, and I found that this will help me to think about how I could do some innovation, my own teaching methodology. So when we looked at it from the customer's point of view, it turned out that the milkshake did the job better than any of the competitors, but then we could understand how to improve the product in ways that nailed the job perfectly. No one is immune from disruptive innovation. Always be mindful that a new, unknown, innocuous entrant can come in unnoticed and steal our lunch. Every company at its core has a human element. I don't think we need to forget that. And that's the art of disruption, getting innovative perspective out of it. So it's, like we said earlier, it's how do we get the job done and not what to think how the customers think about it. So fantastic takeaway and that is going to disrupt innovation. We don't actually know what the sustainable strategy is, and we need help. Somebody needs to guide us as we get there. Crowdfunding can't do that. A good venture capitalist that can work with you, which few actually do, but that can help there. So one of the things I suggest that you do is think about who else is in the broader ecosystem that we touch, and how might we think about our suppliers, our downstream customers, or ancillary people that we're working with, how can they carry some of the innovation load for us so it doesn't just have to be us? Because again, with 80 people, I can't go and have a department of 200 go and innovate. Obviously, I just don't have those resources, but I don't have to because I can tap on all the energy that's outside and bring it together to get the job done for some of our clients. Basically, uh, Clinton's theory works. Uh, it's easy to implement, we see it works. Happy 50th anniversary, SIM. And I'm wishing SIM another 50 more years ahead in terms of helping Singaporeans to move to high aspirations. For SIM, thank you very much for 50 years and also continue to make a difference to the students. We need to groom the managers of tomorrow today.